I finally finished Beware the Nameless by Zoraida Cordova. It's not even that long, we just got really busy with Star Wars Outlaws and Dragon Con, but I'm caught up now, so it's time for a book review. I normally don't do spoilers for these, but since it's been out for a few weeks, I'm just gonna fully dive in, so this is your spoiler warning. I think Beware the Nameless might be my favorite middle grade High Republic book. I will usually review a book at this reading level and say, obviously it wasn't written for someone my age, but I still had fun with it and there were things about it that I liked. Ram Jomaram is one of my favorite High Republic characters and he was introduced in a middle grade book, Race to Crash Point Tower. I like pretty much any story that he's in. Escape from Valo introduced Kildo and Teptep, who I also liked. All three of those characters are back for Beware the Nameless, but the true star of the book is Churro the Hutt. I cannot get over how much I love Churro. From page one, he had my heart. He's a young hut who doesn't want to enter the family business. He just wants to stay in his greenhouse and learn about plants and bugs and go to school and make friends. It's such a great use of the hut gangster Star Wars archetype to tell a familiar and relatable story. Star Wars fans know what it supposedly means to be a hut. We think of them as gangsters because that's almost always how they're presented. Churro is a great vehicle to tell a story about dealing with prejudice or the reputation of your family while also showing us a relatable struggle because so many of us know how it feels to live a life your parents didn't expect or want for you, to go against their ideals or the plans they made without your input. Churro's journey was easily my favorite part of the book, watching him make new friends, grapple with choosing friendship over family, finding various forms of courage when he thinks of himself as a coward. I would die for Churro the Hutt. I also want him to meet Daenal, a Trandoshan who was recently introduced in Young Jedi Adventures who wanted to be friends with the Wookiees instead of enemies. We're used to seeing the Huts and the Trandoshans a certain way, but these characters are a good reminder of what the Clone Wars tells us, that evil is not born, it is taught. Okay, that's enough fawning over Churro, but where the Nameless does more than introduce my favorite new Precious Hut Boy character, it also moves the overall High Republic story along in a surprising way, and here is where the spoilers are going to come in. But all of the experiments Niv Drindau and Baron Bulin have been doing on the Nameless are paying off in terrifying ways. It looks like the Nameless don't only affect the Jedi anymore. They can petrify anything connected to the Force, which means they can petrify all life. We already had to deal with the Blight, which is spreading across some planets, and we see more of it in this book, but now the Nameless have become even more deadly too. When the Blight was introduced, I worried that it might be a little late in the story to introduce such a huge threat, but where the Nameless alleviated some of those worries because I think we're seeing a stronger connection between the Nameless and the Blight. I figured there was a link already, but it's good to see it made a little more concrete. I also think Zoraida nailed the tone of this book. Middle grade books will often put very young children in crazy terrifying situations, and of course the kids rise above it and are victorious. I think all the middle grade High Republic books have done a good job at putting younglings in grave peril while also treating them their age. They grapple with their trauma realistically. Beware the Nameless gets our cast of kids into a dangerous situation in a great way. They're sent on a secondary mission that should be less dangerous, but it winds up being far worse than they thought. Even though it was a secondary objective, adults are still sent with them, and a few of them get picked off defending the kids, which is horrifying and raises the stakes. Every interaction the group has with the Nameless is intense, and I was genuinely scared for every character, especially Churro. The capture of three Nameless felt like a significant development for a middle grade book, and I really appreciate the through lines these stories have had, connecting with the innovator science vessel. Although, now that I think about it, I don't really know how Ram got the ship out of the occlusion zone and back to Coruscant. Maybe I missed that at the end of Escape from Valo, but it's no big deal, I will just accept that they escaped somehow in between books. I'm excited to see what the Jedi having access to the Nameless will bring, and I expect that will all play into Tears of the Nameless, the next young adult book on the way. But that's it for me. Let me know what you thought of Beware the Nameless in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on our socials, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.